Today, we're going to be making some coffee, well, some summer coffee mocktails. So my name is Dan Fellows, I'm the two-time World Coffee and Good Spirits Champion, and I work with Monin to create some really uh, easy drinks to make at home, and one of which, well, all of them today, we can actually drink, even if we're driving. So, we're going to be making some mocktails, really good for a hot summer's day. Today is not quite as bright as it has been, but I'm hearing good things. So, maybe over the weekend these will be just in time if you order the product now. It should be there, hopefully get some nice drinks going. So, I'm going to be making four drinks today. We've got a coffee orange spritz, which is loosely based around the kind of Aperol spritz. Um, really nice, fresh, summery flavour profile. We've got a mock iced Irish coffee, so as you can imagine, a cold Irish coffee, no alcohol, which is quite nice. We've got a coffee bitter tonic, which kind of bridges the gap between a cold brew coffee and tonic and a kind of Campari and tonic, so you've got that nice bitter aperitif in there, um, but obviously a non-alcoholic version. And then finally, we're going to be making a coconut shakerato, which has the texture of an espresso martini, but the kind of flavour profile of coffee and coconut. So again, really nice for summer, really cool, really delicious. So for the first three drinks, we're going to be using the same coffee concentrate. And this is the first thing I'm going to be demonstrating for you today. So for these drinks, I'd probably recommend something not too fruity, but with an element of kind of a little bit of berry flavour note in there, maybe some kind of nuttiness as well particularly for the orange spritz and the bitter based uh, cocktails, they can take a little bit of fruit in there. Whereas the orange coffee, a little bit more chocolatiness can be really nice. So I'm going to be brewing 30 grams of coffee in a cafetiere with 300 grams or mils of boiling water. Actually about 96 just off the boil. So I've got the coffee here. And it's really simple to prepare. Literally grind it into your cafetiere, leave it for a few minutes, strain it off and then you're going to chill that down, that's a really good base for cocktails. So, I'm going to grind the coffee. This cafeteria. So I've ground the coffee quite coarse. If you went too fine, you'd get over extraction and kind of bitterness in the cup, which obviously is something you don't want. So, first of all, got the coffee in there. We're going to be adding our water in a kind of circular motion to give a bit of agitation or you can just pour it straight in and give it a little stir on the spoon. Really important that you use scales for this just so you know how much coffee and how much water you're adding. Going to give that a little stir because as you can see at the moment, it might be a bit difficult to see but you can see on the top some of the coffee, very difficult to see, isn't actually immersed in the water. So we're going to give that a good stir. Because the water's cooling down as we go, it's probably unlikely we're going to over extract the coffee. So I'm just going to leave that in there a couple of minutes. Here is some I prepared earlier. So this is our coffee concentrate. This is going to be the foundation uh, of the first three drinks. And it's basically a really strong coffee flavour, which is going to pull through and add, obviously add the caffeine, but also the flavour profile in there as well. So as this brews, I'm just going to start our timer. I'm going to start preparing the first drink, which is the coffee orange spritz. So I think everyone's probably familiar with an Aperol spritz. Really nice kind of summery drink, really nice for a hot day. This incorporates the coffee, but also the Monin orange spritz syrup. So this is one of my favourite syrups in the range. It's such a good alternative to alcohol, but it also works really well in cocktails as well. Not just where Aperol would work, but it brings a little bit of sweetness as well. So really nice for kind of bringing that really vibrant, a little bit bittersweet kind of rhubarb flavour as well as the orange as well. So, I'm going to start with a big frozen glass, which I always recommend doing if you can do for nice cold drinks. In summer, who could say no to a starting point of that? So, I'm going to add 15 mils of the orange spritz syrup. And again, like you've seen earlier, if you don't have a jigger, you can perhaps use an egg cup. If you don't have the exact glassware, no problem at all. And you can use whatever coffee brewing device in order to make your coffee. So, really kind of versatile recipes is the flavour profile we're more talking about. So, 15 mils of the orange spritz syrup. It's also worth mentioning all of these recipes would work very well with booze. So, this might work really well with gin, potentially vodka, um, really nice partners. You could obviously add those in there if you wanted to, but today we're talking mocktails, so we're not going to. So, 15 mil of orange spritz syrup, 30 mil of the pre prepared coffee concentrate, and this has been chilled down as well. 
Then we're gonna take an orange, we're gonna go 15 mils of the juice, but we're also gonna add a slice for garnish as well. So I'm gonna chop this. Easiest way to do this, put it on the scales. I'm gonna squeeze this in. 15 grams. This just adds a little bit of freshness. A little bit of, that, bit of that citrus as well, which works really nicely. I get a little bit more. And this is actually really nice in the morning, although it kind of seems a little bit excessive to be drinking out of a big wine glass. Obviously, it's not getting alcohol in there. So really refreshing stuff for the day. It's got coffee, got a little bit of brightness from the orange and from the syrup. So really, really nice. And then I'm going to top it with a little bit of soda water or sparkling water, whatever you fancy or potentially Prosecco, if you are uh, feeling fancy. So around about 100 mils of that. Really important with all these drinks, you give them a good stir, so that all the ingredients mix nicely together. But also you don't want to knock out that fizziness so they don't get too much. So it's a really, really beautiful looking drink, really vibrant, bright color. And if you didn't know, I don't think you'd be aware that this doesn't have alcohol, because it's got that kind of real nice, just booziness and all the flavors we associate with alcohol, but it's a really fresh morning cocktail, afternoon cocktail, evening cocktail, whenever you want. So there we've got 15 ml of orange spritz modern syrup, 30 ml of our coffee concentrate, brewed at 30 grams to 300 grams. We've got 15 ml of fresh orange juice, around about 100 ml of soda or sparkling water, and garnish with your own slice. So there we have coffee orange spritz. And I can actually drink this, so cheers. Oh, so good. The coffee just kind of elevates the other flavors in there. We've got the familiar kind of Aperol spritz flavors in there. Really clean, really, really easy drinking. I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna drink that in a minute. And then the second drink is gonna be the mock iced Irish coffee. So this is um, chilled down to be a summer drink. But obviously you can serve this hot like a traditional Irish coffee. So I'm gonna pour this off. This would then go in the fridge, which is our coffee concentrate. So 30 grams of coffee to 300 mils. If you wanted to make your Irish coffee hot, this would be the perfect starting point. But today we're gonna to make it cold. So I'm gonna be using our chilled coffee concentrate. And this is so simple, but the kind of detail is what makes it a little bit more elevated really, really nice textures in there as well. So, the chilled concentrate. Again, I always recommend cold drinks, cold glass, just like a chef would recommend if they're serving hot food on a hot plate. I'm gonna use this. It's gonna be quite a short, punchy Irish coffee. Obviously, there's no whiskey in there, but we're using the Monin Irish syrup. So this is a really good alternative. It kind of balances both the sweetness of the syrup and the kind of flavor coming from the whiskey as well in a non-alcoholic form. So, really simple, 20 mils of the Monin Irish syrup. And then we're gonna go 200 mils of our coffee concentrate. And that kind of ratio, one to 10, works really well, just adjust it for the size of your glass. And then around about a centimeter of cream on top as well. So, we're gonna add our 200 mils of concentrate. I can already smell, this is such a nice drink. It's very, very, very simple, but a really kind of good example of simple recipes of delicious drinks. And we want that cream just to sit on top of the drink, give a nice smooth layer. So I'd always recommend giving the um, cream a good shake. I tend to sort of count my shakes, although it's not particularly accurate, it gives me an idea of how much I want to shake my cream but you also want to listen to the cream as well. If it stops shaking completely, you've pretty much made butter, so you know you've overwhipped it, which may potentially happen, but let's hope not today. Uh, you want to hear it kind of thicken up, so obviously to begin with, it's quite loose. You can kind of hear that. As it gets a little bit thicker and more emulsified, we're going to get that kind of slightly thickened texture. So I've got actually three here, just in case it goes wrong, but we're going to give it a go. So shake up your cream. Here it's still quite loose. Yeah, it's still loose. And you can kind of feel when it starts to thicken up as well. So I 
think that's that thicken up just a bit now. And don't worry if this goes wrong, it goes wrong for literally everyone. I've seen it go wrong at the most important of times, which you don't really want to happen. But that feels like it's thickening up nicely. You can have a little look. It'll be difficult to see inside, but it should just, oh, I don't want to spill this, but it should just thicken up slightly. And that's looking really nice. And if you give it a little swell, if you're a barista, you kind of swell your milk. If you're making an Irish coffee, you can give your cream a little swirl and a tap, and that'll get rid of any of those little bubbles in there as well. So, if you want to be super safe, use a spoon just to float it. And we're going to pour it on top of the mix in there once it's been stirred. And we'll see if this floats. Should do. There we go. Floated. Happy days. So just to reiterate, re reiterate that recipe, it's a tongue twister. We've got 20 mils of Monin Irish syrup, 200 mils of the coffee concentrate, and then we've got around about a centimetre of cream on top. And this is the mock iced Irish coffee. Cheers. Mmm, oh man. So the first sip is obviously quite dominated by the cream, which is no bad thing. And then as you get through it, you get more of that kind of coffee coming through. You get the kind of Irish whiskey flavour without the burn from the alcohol. Really summery, really refreshing. It's almost kind of milkshakey, which is really nice. And it's quite nice for me to drink these without any risk uh, or kind of concern of alcohol in the morning. So there's your mock iced Irish coffee. So really one I'd recommend trying. Really delicious. Pop in some garnish, maybe a little bit of grated chocolate or something would work quite nicely in there. Drink number two, complete. So the third drink I'm going to serve today is a coffee bitter tonic. And this is probably my favourite of all the kind of cold coffee cocktails, or mocktails I should say. Um, purely because it's the sort of drink you could drink all day long on a hot summer's day. Really refreshing, kind of really well balanced, it's got acidity, sweetness and bitterness. We've got a little bit of the Monin Bitter in here, which is probably one of my favourite Monin products. Really, really nice, not too sweet. Um, great balance with that kind of rhubarb bitterness once again. So really, really nice product. We've got the coffee concentrate again, so we've got that coffee flavour coming through and a little bit of caffeine, but not too much. And then we have tonic water and citrus, so lemon, grapefruit, lime, whatever you want. So I'm going to start once again with our coffee concentrate, 30 mils, and then this goes into a high ball glass, which I prepared earlier. So once again, frozen glass, really nice and cold, you can even see the sort of vapour coming off there, quite nice. So. 15 mil Mon and Bitter. This is a really, really good substitute in a Negroni. Uh, anything where Campari might be found, you can use this to create that kind of bitter aperitif without the alcohol. It's a really, really good partner for coffee as well. If you use a little bit of citrus to bridge the gap between the bitter and the coffee, it's a really, really nice pairing. So then we're going to add 30 mils of our coffee concentrate. Is. And then finishing off this with tonic, but again you could use sparkling water, you could use maybe like um, a lemon or an orange seltzer or something sparkling like that, maybe even like an orange aid. Um, all of these things work really nicely. I find tonic is a really great partner because it bridges that bitterness and sweetness once again. Gonna add around about 100 mils just to the top. And this is the simplest sort of drink, works really really nicely would be perfect for pre-batching as well. So you could actually make a big batch of this before, pre-batch the coffee and the bitter, and then when you get to maybe your picnic or the beach or wherever you're going, you can just top it up with tonic, or potentially again some gin, uh, would work really nicely, a bit of vodka would work nicely. The kind of white spirits you go to for this. So once again, I'm gonna give that a good mix. This drink is so refreshing, and it's so easy to make, that it's really one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna add, a little bit of lemon in there. Probably recommend a slice, which could be squeezed by your guest if you prefer. Give a little bit of acidity. I'm not going to add any because actually I've got a little bit of acidity from the coffee in there, but it's nice to give your guest the option. So I'm going to pop that in there. And then probably a straw as well. Because why not? If it's a highball. So, such a simple drink. This is the coffee bitter tonic. So 15 mils of Monin Bitter, 30 mils of our coffee concentrate, made with 30 
grams of coffee, 300 grams of water, 100 mils of tonic, and a little bit of citrus. Coffee bitter tonic, cheers. So drinkable, so drinkable. Mm. <coughs> I'm down the wrong way, it is nice though. Um, such a nice drink, so that's a really easy summer cocktail, one of my per uh, personal favorites. And then the final drink, a lot of people have a capsule machine at home, so these can be used obviously for making your coffee in the morning, but I really like to use it as an ingredient for cocktails. So inside a capsule, you probably only have around four and a half to five and a half grams of coffee, so they're not particularly strong or intense in terms of coffee dose. So I'm gonna be brewing two of them, and then we're gonna be making a drink which has the texture of an espresso martini, without the alcohol. So I'm going to start by brewing the coffee. And this drink is called a coconut shakerata. So in actual fact, I'm using a decaf capsule uh, from a friend of mine at Difference Coffee. This is Guatemala. And this has a really nice nutty character, which works well with the coconut. So this is actually non-alcoholic and no caffeine as well. So you could, with all these drinks, you could make decaf coffee concentrate too. And that would give you, obviously, the benefits of the flavor of coffee without the caffeine if you don't want that. Through this. Always recommend with your capsules, pull them to round, well probably no more than 30 grams in the cup, otherwise they do get quite watery, so keep them quite short. And then we're going to be building this in a shaker, giving it a really good shake. It's going to give it that nice sort of cappuccino-like texture. So I'm using the morning coconut syrup. Again for 10 mils of this. It is quite a dominant flavour, so you don't want to overdo it with the coconut. 10 mils is plenty. And we're going to give this a really, really good shake over ice. So, one capsule is in. Another one. My second capsule. And again, I always recommend, at the bare minimum, using filtered water. Ideally, your preferred bottled water, unless you have really good local tap water. So, Always try and consider what all the ingredients in your drink taste like. You want to use nice, kind of clear, odourless, um, not too hard water for brewing coffee. So, worth thinking about these things as well. So once this is brewed, we're going to give it a really nice shake. This is our, once again, frozen glass. And I've preloaded my tin with a bit of ice. You can take this up a bit time. And pop that into our syrup, so they nicely mix. So simply, two capsules, 10 mils of coconut syrup. And although it sounds very, very simple, there's actually quite a lot of complexity from the coffee and how the syrup interacts with it as well. So I'm gonna give this a really good shake. Shake it really hard so you get that nice texture coming through. You can see the tin has actually started to frost up, and that's exactly what you're looking for. And then here we have that really nice texture. I'm going to fine strain this into our coupe glass. But again, you could use a martini glass, whatever kind of short glass you like for this. I probably wouldn't serve it over ice because then you're going to get too much dilution. You can already see that's such a nice texture. So also with this drink, play around with the different syrups, with the different flavours. I've chosen coconut here because I think it's a really nice partner for this particular coffee. And add a little bit of toasted coconut to the top of the drink. But whatever flavour really you enjoy with coffee, maybe white chocolate, you could use lots of different flavours in there. Give it a go. So this is the coconut shakerata, and it's similar to an espresso martini in texture but obviously without the alcohol. So really nice morning coffee, particularly for a hot summer's day. Cheers, enjoy it. Mm. Could drink that all in one, one mouthful to be fair. So there we have the coconut shake rato. We've got some really nice summer coffee mocktails there and I really hope you get to try them at home. All of these syrups available on the Modern website. Make sure you check them out. So thank you very much everyone, everyone. Enjoy some summer coffee mocktails. And I'll see you again. Cheers. Bye-bye.